just going to demonstrate the new CSS3 box model property. Um, okay, so as you can see here, I've got three divs um, inside a section. So section is just like a div block class element. Um, at the moment, I've got them filling this space here. So normally, you'd have to do give each one of these um, give each one of these a width of a third, so 33.3 percent or something like that to do something like this. Um, this isn't that impressive, but this is an example of what can be done. So, as you can see here, I've got the section which is the parent displayed as WebKit box. Um, I've set the orient orientation to horizontal, so it's using the Flexbox model horizontally. Um, I'm having to use the WebKit prefixes on these things at the moment, but yeah, I think that'll become standard soon. Um, I'm setting each of the divs 100%. Blah, blah, blah. And then the, this property here is important. It's um, WebKit box flex. So that means that these boxes will flex to fill the space. And I've got it set to one at the moment, which means they will equally fill the space. Now it gets a bit more interesting if I, for example, assign something to my fixed div. If I give this a width of 100, say. 100 pixels, so a fixed width, and then if I add something to our flexi div, and I remove this, and run that code, and now you can see that this div is fixed, and the other two accommodate the space. So this is really useful for setting up column layouts of basic, basic stru site structure. It's really useful. Um, and th yeah, there are ways of doing this in CSS at the moment, but this makes simplifies things massively. Um, so if I show you how also this can be interesting, the flex method. So if I go one, So if I assign this to, this is like a ratio of space, so this should take up, um, of the flexible space, it should take up one unit, this should take up two units, so we run this, okay, so you see number two takes up two thirds, this takes up one third of the flexible space, so there's lots of ways you can work with this. Um, one thing that I think is really cool as well, that is always when the mayor is 100% height, um, so if we just in this JS fiddle um, set the height of the window to 100% so we can work with this and if we set the section to height 100% as well take the height off the height property off those divs and they you see they automatically expand to fill the space as well. Um, that's anything inside the um, display box or display webkit box in this example. So you can see how this could easily become a site and um, mixing fixed width columns with flexible width columns is very useful. Um, I'll just quickly show how this can then be used in a vertical, in a vertical space. So yeah, I've assigned, I've changed the box orient value to vertical, um, and I have just assigned every div to flexible. So these are equally filling up this space here at the moment. Um, I can then add. I can go back and do my flex uh, fix and flex. Again, um, I can give this a fixed height of 100 pixels, and then take this off every div and put it on here. And then now you can see we have a fixed height of 100 pixels and the two other ones. Right, the uh, last feature I'd like to demonstrate from the Flexbox model is the centering. Like vertical alignment, which has been a major issue for a long time in CSS. 
Um, there have been ways to uh, centre horizontally, but vertically has always been a bit of a nightmare. Now if we look at the HTML I've just got a div inside this section, the section is 100%, 100%. Um, I could even just drop the section to simplify things a bit more. I'll just have a div inside my... I'll work this in here. So yeah, we just got that body which is um, set to 100% height. We're saying we want the box model. Uh, we're giving horizontal, which is default anyway. That doesn't need to be there. Um, we're saying box pack center, which is a vertical alignment, and we're saying box align center, which is a horizontal alignment. And just giving this a height and width. And as you can see, very nice. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I've just given a brief overview. Um, I'll leave a link as well to where you can find out more information. But. I hope that was interesting.